Today our puppy class is starting with students between the ages of 8 and 12 weeks of age. These early months in a puppy's life are when the most important bonding takes place. We're going to run some tests to find out just what kind of dog you have. Let's get started. First thing we're going to do is a, a simple temperament test. Now, all dogs, whether they be passive, even tempered, aggressive, dominant, they all react in a specific way when they're put in a mildly, and I repeat, mildly stressful situation. By knowing your dog's temperament, you can tailor your training techniques so that the dog will respond with a minimum of problems. For example, if you know you have a sensitive dog, then your training techniques, they're going to be very soft and sensitive. Jessica, why don't you come up with Elliot? Now, Elliot is a Weimaraner cross, correct? Yes. Correct. Hey there, Elliot. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to get the dog down in front of us, facing us. And we're simply going to flip it over on its back. And we're going to see what reaction he gives. Now, you can get in real close so you see what I'm doing. You want him to be very patient, very comfortable in the position. You don't want him to fight. An aggressive dog is going to fight, be mouthy, try to get up. Whereas an even-tempered dog might fight for a little bit. But the more you encourage them, the more you soothe them, you rub him in the right place, they're going to calm down like this as well. And then you can simply flip him back over. Good. You always want to praise that. Because Elliot responded to this test like an even-tempered dog, he won't require a firm hand during training. That was a great job, you guys. You guys did well on that one. Now we're going to demonstrate a different type of temperament test, a different kind of handling and restraint. For this one, we're going to use, uh, let's use Zeus. So we'll get Zeus up here. Zeus and Jeff. Now, Zeus is a toy fox terrier, right? Yep, sure. How old is he? 11 weeks. He? Yes? Yeah. Yes? All right. <laughs> this exercise will give you a clue about how quickly or how slowly your dog's going to learn by testing just how long it takes him to respond to you. This one is, uh, is, is very simple. We're just going to hold the dog up. Now, with a small dog like that, we might actually have to, um, we might actually have to bend down. But we're going to hold him up in front of our face and, and get eye contact on this one. Whereas, good, whereas the other one, we use our voice a lot. We're going to use eye contact to see if he will calm down. And once again, the, the, within a second, I mean, if it's good for a second like that, you can go and put him right back down. You're actually building his trust. And you want to build. You want to build to about five or six seconds. You understand your dog a little bit better at the end of this, and he's going to understand that handling is very positive. Well, now that we've done our, our tests, we're going to actually give the dogs a chance to socialize. So we're going to have all the dogs um, come in. The owners can kind of make a circle and allow the dogs to interact with one another. Now, this is probably the best part of a training class, an obedience training class, is to allow the dogs to learn how to interact with other dogs. And you can also learn a little bit about the type of personality or character the dog has simply by their reaction to other dogs. By paying attention to your dog's personality, you will quickly learn that his responses will dictate how to handle him for the best results. That was a great first class, you guys. Now keep in mind that temperament testing is something that you can do as early as four to six weeks of age, and it's also something that you are going to want to do periodically as your dog gets older. You gotta love that Zeus. I love the name, too. I can't wait to see how those puppies progress. It's okay. You'll be able to see how they progress, too, every week in our new puppy class lesson.